on a day that has so much competition, offense and defense, how does it feel to make a big catch on the, the final billion? I mean, we're just always out there trying to get better every single day, no matter what period it is, um, whether it's a big play or small play, as long as we're able to learn from it and grow from it. Um, I think that's the most important thing. What did you see on that play? Um, you know, I had a, a inside fade route. I knew that it was locked. I had to get going. Um, he's playing off and outside, but um, I've seen Aaron throw that ball to Devontae many times, so I knew I just had to keep on running. And once I saw the ball, just to track it and just go make a play. What did you think of uh, the competition? I mean, the Saints got a nice roster, too. Like you guys do. Did you think the competition was a pretty good day, the kind of competition that, that helps you get better? Yeah, I definitely think um, having them be here um, provides a lot of um, work for us from the standpoint of just being able to get better, see a different look, see different people, um, feel a different intensity from other players and everything, and kind of be able to get the closest thing to a game like reps. Um, I mean, we practice, obviously, we practice hard every single day, but we, we, we've gone against our defense so much and they've gone against us that, you know, it comes monotonous and, you know, a little bit methodical um, in our practices. But seeing someone new run a completely different scheme, new players, um, it just creates, you know, a little bit more intensity in practice, and I thought it was a great work today. How did you assess how the, how the offense kind of did? You seem like the red zone you guys were able to have some success. Yeah, I think, you know, our offense is, is growing. It's coming along and everything. Um, we had a lot of false starts, a lot of missed signals and stuff like that today, which that's just not the standard that we've had, especially in recent history. Um, so I think there's a lot of improve on from that standpoint, but overall I thought, they did, I thought we did well as an offensive unit. What's more frustrating, do you think, to your coach? The penalties or the amount of yards or lack of yards that you get in certain throws? So what's the second part? The lack what, of? Matt LaFleur, what type of guy is he? Is he a guy that would be more upset with penalties or, or with lack of production? Um, probably uh, penalties, honestly. And I think it's just kind of just the vibe and aura in this locker room as well, just because it's something so minimal. So just being locked in, especially pre-snap, just knowing the count knowing your, your job and everything, just be able to go out there and execute it. If, if we don't have the production that we want on that play, then we can chalk it up just to, you know, the defense made a play or it's just a bad look or bad play call, whatever it may be. But um, pre-snap penalties, not knowing what you're supposed to do, that's just inexcusable. The opportunity to line up against a guy like Lattimore in this kind of setting, how much that can help prepare you for this season, particularly with the responsibility you might have? Yeah, I mean, I go against the great guys every single day, Jair, Razul, E. Um, so he's just another great, great corner, obviously, who's been well and proven in this league. Um, I didn't really get too many opportunities against him today, especially like one on one. So anytime you know you're able to go against great competition, uh, a guy like me, I feel like we're going to flourish at that and just, you know, want to get better as an individual and just to kind of test out to see where our skills are at. Do you hold on to that one in the seven? Absolutely. Would it have stood up, stood up under a review? I mean, our all reviews 100% truthful. <laughs> like, I mean, it should. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it, it was a catch. You see so many times in Detroit practices, when things go sideways, toughest player. Do you guys have conversations amongst yourself to not let that happen? Do coaches tell you things to avoid that? Or? I mean, it's just a little bit of professionalism. You know, at this level, at the end of the day, we're all living our dreams. We're all out here making money to do something that we love, and to be able to kind of put yourself in front of the team or in front of. Uh, put yourself above the team or organization and be able to cause uh, physical harm to someone, I think it's just, you know, unprofessional from that standpoint, but we definitely talk about it. Um, at the same time, though, we, we still want physical, tough practices to get better because at the end of the day, that's the game that we play. Um, so I think it's just a fine line of just kind of figuring out of what's appropriate and what's inappropriate.